dressed for winter with the air conditioning on right now. That's how it is in Tucson, Arizona. You get dressed when it's cold in the morning and then you froze to midday. No one wants the windows down. We're headed to the nursery right now to look at real trees. Because Trap didn't like the olive tree that I got yesterday. And because it's a good idea to put real trees that are supposed to be outside, inside. <laughs> it's gonna work out. So my last night at 12.30, my alarm went off. And I, did, I swear I did not set my alarm. And then this morning, before it was light out, our Christmas tree just came on. In the bedroom, we have this remote thing that you can turn it on and off, and it just came on by itself. And then, helicopters were swarming our house, and this cop cars true. all over our neighborhood. And we're like, what is going on? Trav said it's because they're trying to find out who put the salt like on the hill. <laughs> Anyways, it's been an eventful morning and we're excited to see what's going to happen at the nursery. Probably lots of trees are going to just like magically jump into our truck. It does. We found Java the Hutt's tree. It's Java the Hutt tree. And they're only $900. Is that on sale, Trav? It's the Adenium Arabicum. Arabicum. Look at all these poisonettias. They're huge. So much poison. That one's cute with the twisted trunk. It is twisted. I, I think I like these weeping fig things. Hmm. Do you think those would live in our house? How cute is that? Tiny. We're headed to the indoor, back to the indoor arena because these greenery people think they know it all about plants and stuff and they said that eucalyptus trees and olive trees won't grow inside because they like the elements. I have a sound machine with a thunderstorm setting and a rain setting and we have a heat lamp. I'm just teasing around. They're actually really nice here. This place is called Green Things. And there are a lot of green things, but there are some brown things too. And lots of poison. Okay, so do you guys like the thickest tree better? Or the weeping fig? That's a weeping fig. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. There's the talking parrot. I personally wanted an indoor olive tree, eucalyp eucalyptus, or a rubber tree. And they don't have big rubbers here. They're only six inches. Oh, Chav's a, is that a moose? It's a reindeer. Oh, it is a reindeer. These are some mammoth pots. Okay, so Chav said I, oh, I love those pots. <laughs> Trav said I look uneducated if I don't tell you that I really know how to say poinsettia and ficus. It's just more fun to say ficus and poisonettias. They're poison to dogs and cats. Trav, just try to say ficus. Just it say won't it. come out of my mouth. Ficus. ficus. Oh. I know. This is like the coolest thing. I just want. I just want to like live in that. Um, some of you are going to disagree about with me about the poison idea thing, that they're not poison. I think one of you told me that the cat would have to eat 44 poison ideas before it would pass away, but I don't know. I just think if it starts eating them, then it's on its way to death. Do you guys like this? Yes, 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 it is. And look at that cute one. This little shop is, oh, those are cute ceilings. B-Y-O-B. Bring your own bag. Bring your own bag. Kitsy, are you going to bring a bag next time? No. Reminds me of that Lucy episode when they're carrying the tree by and it keeps growing. Do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. Here comes the tree. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
if you've been around here for a minute or two for the last week or so, you'll know that I made a pot for my plant and this, it was way too small for this tree. So we got another pot and then I'm gonna use the other pot for something else. But I love, love this and it's perfect for the tree. This pot, it just has the perfect rustic character that I love. And if, if the tree outgrows the pot inside it, then we can replant it in this if we would need to.